the UN climate change uh, conference in Katowice uh, in Poland this week, Sir David Attenborough said, right now we are facing a man-made disaster of global scale. Our greatest threat in thousands of years, climate change. He went on, if we don't take action, the collapse of our civilizations and the extinction of much of the natural world is on the horizon. That's David Attenborough. The message is clear. Time is running out. It's already a matter of life or death for many people in countries uh, across the world right now. It's not just isolated, drowning islands in faraway oceans, but whole towns like Paradise in California, where recently at least 85 people died, many burned in their cars, fleeing the wildfires that destroyed their whole town. And we're at a critical point. Average global temperatures have increased by a degree Celsius since pre-industrial times. That's as a direct result of our use of fossil fuels and our carbon emissions. This degree of warming is seeing worrying rates of Arctic sea ice shrinkage, accelerated sea level rises, and more frequent extreme weather events. We probably all remember the frightening hurricanes that swept across the Caribbean last year, where thousands of people died and thousands more people lost everything. Not just one hurricane, but almost a whole alphabet of them. Hurricanes Arlene, Brett, Cindy, Don, Emily, Franklin, Gert, Irma, Jose, Katia, Lee, Maria, Nate, Ophelia, Philippe, Rena. It's been estimated that Hurricane Maria alone killed 4,645 people during the storm and its aftermath. And this year, the extensive wildfires in California and Greece and the forest fires that raged as far as inside the Arctic Circle as, as this summer turned abnormally wide areas into a tinderbox. And we heard just now from the fire commissioner about the way that the London Fire Brigade has had to deal with so many more grass fires here in London and how much resource of the, um, of the brigade has been taken up with that and also helping colleagues deal with peat fires elsewhere in the UK. The trend is very clear. Climate change is happening and as politicians we owe it to our communities to act. And how many more warnings do we ignore? Do we wait until London has been hit by a devastating extreme weather event that might cost billions, lose lives, and take years to recover from? Assemblymember Twycross is quite rightly including climate change in the risks identified in her resilience forum work. Perfect timing. We may have only 12 years before we potentially lose control. The recent study from the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, the IPCC, with their recent report showed that at the current rate of warming, average global temperatures could ex exceed 1.5 degrees Celsius as early as 2030. That's just 12 years away. And the 1.5 degree temperature is like a guardrail between what the global scientific consensus believes we have a chance to cope with and, on the other hand, unimaginable and irreversible social, environmental and economic devastation. And keeping to one and a half degrees warming is going to be hard, but it is possible. Although only, that's only if we focus, collaborate with people across the world and take these risks seriously. School children in Australia are on strike about climate change and they're calling on politicians to act. Citizens in London and across the UK are calling for action to tackle the climate emergency. Now, the Mayor's 2050 zero carbon target is now beginning to look a little too, too little too late. <coughs> it's not going to stop temperatures from overshooting the one and a half degree threshold to two, three, or possibly even four degrees of warming. And that would leave us reliant on just unproven technologies like carbon capture to try and sort it out. So why am I urging you to support this motion? Because the responsibility lies with us. The actions that we take today and in the next few years will affect all aspects of our lives, our children's lives, and those of all future generations. 
On the 14th of November, the City of Bristol declared a climate emergency, with the Council unanimously backing a motion by Councillor Carla Denyer with a commitment to be carbon neutral by 2030 in an effort to avoid irreversible climate breakdown. This is the scale of ambition that we need if we're going to safeguard Londoners and all our futures, and that is why I'm proposing that the Mayor declares a climate emergency, sets out the actions needed to make London carbon neutral by 2030, and that he calls on the government to give him the powers to make this possible, okay. and by example, setting a precedent for other UK and world cities to follow. I move the motion. Thank you very much.